Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Tonight I wanted to color a picture out of the Princess Coloring Book by Daisy Joy. I recently did a flip through of a couple of Daisy Joy books that I got. I think there were three of them. I'll link that video down below in case you're interested in purchasing any of these really cute books. And I also, yesterday I believe, uh, put up a video uh, with swatching out and reviewing the master markers. I did this morning get the color chart done for this so that I could make this video tonight and have my colors available to me. So I will link that video down below also in case you are interested in looking at the markers. And I thought the picture we do tonight in here is this cutie pie. Now I'm a little limited on my time tonight, so I know we're not going to get this all done in one video, but I thought if we could at least get the main part of her done, um, the smaller details, I think I'm going to get out my ultra fine uh, Sharpies, Bix, Amazon Basics, those things. Um, and also probably for the details in here. But the rest of her, the main part of her, I'm going to be doing with the master markers because there's the nice thick black lines, which I like. <laughs> so, not sure what I want to do with the dress. So let's do her hair first. Um... Let's see, do we want to do just regular standard hair? Maybe we'll do a type of brown. Well, let's do her skin first. That's usually what I start out with. So I think I am going to do... Hmm, <laughs> as you can see, there are quite a few skin tones, you know, to pick from. So, um, as well as the... Uh, darker skin tones so but I think I'm going to make her light now I'm not real sure about skin in through here because looks like the neck goes into the back like this should all be skin but then it's a sleeve here so I'm going to just say this part is skin and this is part of the sleeve and this is maybe just like a jumper that goes over the top. I don't know. I guess that's how I'm going to interpret it. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll go with corn silk 134. Let me open this. I did not get them in the great big case that I shown in my review. So I still have them in uh, these two plastic cases. So we were going to use corn silk okay and i am going to use the brush tip end now as i swatched these all out i did notice one thing about the brush tips on here i do really like them but some of them are softer than the others i do like them a little bit firmer and some of these are quite soft um so i don't know i haven't colored a picture with them yet just did the the color chart so we'll see how they actually color how is everybody doing how is your week going it is a tuesday night when i am recording this so this probably will first be up tomorrow on wednesday I'm sure I won't get this rendered and uploaded anymore tonight. So, hmm. And these are really juicy markers. So I can see I'm having some bleed over. I'm going to have to watch that a little more, I guess. Especially where the lines are a little bit thinner. Like around her mouth there. Wow, that is juicy. Holy cow. Which is great. We love our juicy markers. But yeah, we do have to remember, especially on 
books with this paper. This is the exact same paper, exact same style as all of the Jade Summer books. So yeah, it uh, the ink really spreads fast with alcohol markers on this kind of paper. Ah, uh, so yeah, by the time you see this, it'll be hump day, Wednesday. I do now have Tuesdays off rather than Fridays from watching the kids. So I did mean to record this earlier in the day, but I was working all morning on, uh, let's get this back, on the color charts and especially this particular color chart with these master markers. And because I'm so OCD about it, it took quite a while and uh, let's go with sienna for her hair 21 oh that's in the other side see another reason why i wanted to get them all in one big case <laughs> although it's not actually too bad having these two 21 there we go sienna yeah um so yeah i then was going to record this afternoon and for some reason my blood sugar plummeted like it will do once in a while and then for some reason I don't know I just I couldn't shake it um, usually if I have a little piece of candy or you know a mini candy bar or something takes care of it and the shaking and feeling yucky but I was just wiped out so I just kind of kicked back and took a little nap and tummy is still a little queasy and I've never had that when I have low blood sugar and I don't have diabetes or anything like that it's just if I do have any kind of sugar and I did have some candy this morning uh, shame on me so i'm assuming that is why my blood sugar plummeted then after that um but yeah i just i don't know my body just said uh, no and so yeah i just i couldn't record until tonight and it's yeah still a little queasy i don't know why holy cow these got to be some of the juiciest markers i have ever colored with wow hope that means they're not going to run out of ink for a while but as you can see they color very nicely i like that color and yes, like the Jade Summer books, it's going to, with the black backside of the pages especially, it, uh, the ink goes down darker and then gets lighter as it dries. I, other than kind of having an upset tummy, <laughs> I am doing well. I'm actually very excited just found out maybe a half hour ago the offer that we put in on the house on monday no on monday was yesterday on well maybe it was yesterday or sunday i can't remember now um must have been Sunday because we went to see it on Saturday. They countered offered because um, we offered 5000 less than asking. And they countered with kind of meeting us in the middle and wanted 3000 more than we offered. So it was still couple thousand below asking so we accepted that 
So now all we got to do is sell the Zoes. And we can start the process. But yeah, got to sell this place first. So I told Bob to nonchalantly mention something at work <laughs> because I had mentioned in the past color and chat that the guy that he works with is interested in the place but really hasn't he came back for a sh he came for a showing and didn't want to commit or anything i think we're going to go with some teals in here didn't want to commit without kind of seeing some other options well there really are no other options around here so he wanted to bring his dad back for a showing because um and Bob had already said this. He thought, well, you know, he's surprised his dad doesn't just buy it for him. His dad is Bob's boss, and yeah, they have a lot of money. Um, so that's why he wanted to bring his dad to see the house, too. But he never has yet. So I said, you know, just say something about, you know, oh, we might be moving to Merrill. You know, we have an accepted offer on the house. All we got to do is sell this one now <laughs> and see if uh, that would get his button gear <laughs> and request another showing of this house. But Bob just is not a pushy guy, and I think he would feel funny doing that, so probably won't. <laughs> Eh, I have no problem being pushy. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So yeah, I'm all excited. But as excited as a person is, yeah, I'll be a lot more excited when we have this place sold. Because that is the major stumbling block. That's the harder part than finding a new place to move to and getting an accepted offer there. Although when you have a selling contingency on a buyer's agreement, people typically don't like that either. So I wasn't sure if they were going to accept our offer or not like the other times when we put offers in and they turned it down because of the selling contingency. Okay. Holy cow, I just, I can't get over how juicy these are. And the under part is gonna be the same color. So yeah, the next color in chat will be finishing up this gal. I'm assuming it's only going to be two parts. Not sure when I'll be doing the next part. Depends on how the rest of the week goes. But it might not get recorded till this weekend. Oh, I like that color. This is... Uh, turquoise and because I can't fit my craft room anywhere downstairs in that house we there's a extremely large well there's two really big bedrooms upstairs and I would make the one bedroom my craft room. Oh, God, that would be so awesome. Oh. But biggest part, biggest problem to that is that means we got to try to get this big, honking, heavy, heavy desk up them steps. Yeah. 
I don't know how to even go about thinking how to do that. And of course, I'm not going to be able to do it. So I'm going to have to get the son-in-laws and future son-in-laws together and they can brainstorm. I'm sure Bob will have an idea too. They do have, I did a little bit of research. They do have this thing called the Power Mate and it's like a motorized dolly and it actually lifts um, whatever you have on the dolly it lifts it up each step at a time so you don't have to do the lifting yeah the problem is there's nowhere to rent one around here bummer otherwise I thought that would be perfect so yeah, I don't know what else. If anybody knows of anything, you know, other than your regular dolly, of how to get super, super heavy, big, awkward things up steps, let me know in the comments below. Because, uh, so yeah, that, that's going to be one big, hard thing. But boy, once it's up there, oh, that'll just be so nice. I, however, would keep my printer downstairs. Because when I'm at my desk here recording and coloring, I don't print anything. I always print stuff when I'm in the living room here. And Bob prints occasionally too. So I would keep the printers downstairs. And I'm totally off camera. Sorry. So yeah, there's a little area off the living room that I was going to make as the kids, kids play area. So I can put all their toys in there. And okay, now this. Oh, I'm really confused. That must be part of the dress, right? That looks kind of odd though, but it must be. And what's that? Is that the other strap? Hmm, what do you guys think? Because the belt only comes around there, so what is this? Oh my gosh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, I guess we're going to say this is the other strap because I don't know what else it would be. And this must be part of the dress. Because it looks like there's a ruffle down there. I don't know. I guess that's what I'm doing. Hmm. I don't know. Let's leave that one out in case I need it. Then I'm going to go with a shade lighter through here. So I think I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with light aqua, 324. 324. Boy, and they're all right out, spread out here, and you think I can see 324? 324, light aqua. Oh, there it is. Doesn't look like aqua on the cap, that's why. Okay, so we're going to do this color. Oh yeah, as you can tell, I'm so excited. Anybody have any big plans for the weekend? Mm. 
not me. <laughs> I very rarely do. Which is fine. I don't like having to go places. I'm just, I'm a homebody. Very much so, even in the summer. I mean, it's nice to, Bob and I, once in a while, will go for a drive. Especially, like, up north. or Oh, I like those together. You know, just go for a drive. Get out for a while. But other than that, don't really do a whole lot. Okay. And I think... I think we'll do the outside border this. Now we have a little bit thinner line there, so I'm going to have to, because these are so juicy, i got to try to stay away from the edge so it doesn't bleed over. I love brush markers. Now I also have, believe it or not, another set of markers to swatch out. So I'll be doing that video. I kind of wanted to get that done today too, but that's not going to happen now. All right, what do you think about those two colors together? Hmm. Now, should we do the bow? The dark, yeah, see, that looks really dumb having that colored in like that. Oh, is that her sleeve? Oh my gosh, really? <laughs> Lisa, you dummy. Well, I, I would have thought there would have been a hand down here. If that was the case. Oh, well, I blew that. Let's um, do the bow in this color then. Oh, man. I was wondering why it looked so strange. Oh, well. Can't do it, have an undo button. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Have an undo button like you do on your on your documents on your computer, right? At least Windows PCs do, I'm assuming Macs do too. These look like jingle bells, so I may get out some metallic something or another to color those in and I th think this part we're going to go in with the dark whoops not taking my time enough. I have a tendency of doing that. I'm always in too much of a hurry. Okay. All right. Well, again, I think I'm going to leave those out in case I need them for anything. So we have this belt here, and then this in here. I'm going to make it kind of like a rope, sort of. So let's look at our, what did I do with the rest of my color chart? Here it is. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so her hair was sienna. What would look like a good braid color? I don't want to go real dark. Hmm. 
because I have that, I would have liked maybe that color for it. But let's go for a more yellowish kind of look. Let's try the olive gold. Or that be too light. No, let's try that. 41. 41. Let's see how this looks. Not sure, but... Yeah, I guess that looks okay. Alright, yeah, I guess that came out okay. Let's do... Now, again, how do you people color these. Do you assume like this top part is her teeth, the inside of her mouth, and then her tongue maybe? Because you see stuff like this quite a bit or else you'll just see that and I leave it because I'm thinking it's um, her teeth. So <laughs> I guess that's the way I'm going to do it. So let's do the inside of her mouth and we'll do that and light pink a little bit darker than what the tongue would be though right because that's the inside a little more shadowed so let's do that mulberry 18 okay then we'll do the tongue a little bit lighter. So let's do that pale pink, 196. Whoa. Okay, that went over a little, but that's okay. All right, now I'm not exactly sure how to do these eyes because these are very different you know they don't have a pupil and an iris and <laughs> so I think what we're going to do is we're just going to color this all the colored parts and then I'm going to come back in um, with Posco or probably my uh, jelly roll my white jelly roll and we'll re-enhance the whiteness um, but yeah so yeah we're just i guess going to do it that way and see how it looks so i'm going to give her let's have it go with the outfit and we'll give her green eyes i think that'd be pretty light green eyes let's go with ice green and that sound pretty for eyes ice green ice ice baby <laughs> So I'm just going to go over the whole entire thing. And actually, I may use this color down in here. Let me grab my... I'm sorry if I uh, get in the way here. Yep, I did. Sorry about that. Got to make this thing handier, closer for me. Um... I think this is the one I want. Is that the one I want? No, here it is. Is this my Jelly Roll? Sakura, that's my shiny one though. I want my white one. Not sure if this is it or not. Let me see. This will work. I don't think this is my Jelly Roll though. Now this says touch new. I gotta find out where I where I put my my nice jelly roll, but this will work. I don't think this is quite as opaque as the jelly roll. That one's my favorite. So if I find it, if I remember to look before I do the next part of this, I'll go back over this because yeah, this isn't quite as opaque. I don't think is what the jelly roll is. But it's not bad. There, how does that look? 
I think I'm, well, no, I'm going to leave well enough alone. I was going to say I'll take the blender and see if I can blend that out. But then you blend out the flesh tone too. So I'm just going to leave that alone. <laughs> Let's use this ice green. Hmm. <laughs> I think I want to do the background here, this nice pale green and then when I come in with the fine point sharpies we'll or the ultra fines we'll uh, do some color in there no I because there's real thin lines around these I may go over with the ink so if that's the case we'll just have to go with a darker color for the circles when I get the sharpies out But I'm trying to stay away from them. So like I said, these are some juicy markers. Guess that just means I got to color a lot with them. And I do love my brush tips. Another reason why I love my Copic so much. And I want to get them back out and color a picture too. Also had a, a want, if you will, to get out my ink tints. And I thought maybe, because I have not colored with them in so long, could be an epic fail on camera. <laughs> but I thought maybe I should do a picture with my ink tints for a change. Hmm. Do those colors go together? This is maybe a little bit on the line kind of side. I don't know. I guess it's okay. All right. Let's see. What else can we do now before I need the Sharpies? We could do the outline of the stars. And I think I will go ahead with yellow. And then inside I'll do the Sharpies again. These I'm going to all do with Sharpies. Probably that I will have to do. We'll do the crown though too. And maybe I'll do a base coat um, with marker and then just go over it with either something metallic. Maybe I could get out my uh, Fine Tech watercolors. Oh, what an idea. Because um, those are real metallic and shiny. So, yeah. And maybe we'll do some of that on the crown. Hmm. I'll have to get them out. I have not used them yet, so I've had them for a while, but I haven't used them. Imagine that, right? Okay, let's find a pretty yellow to do these stars. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Let's use, should we use anise or banana? Don't you love how they spelt banana? And I, when I make my color charts, well, it's kind of shiny, isn't it? Sorry, I have them in page protectors. Don't you love how they spelt banana? <laughs> but when I make my color charts, I make them how they spell them. Let me show you. I suppose you can't read that on here. It's always kind of blurry when I try to get up close with it. But yeah, it is. It's B-A-N-N-A-N-A. <laughs> so, um, let's go with Annis. All right. Oh, I know one thing I was going to do. Um, a while ago in um, a video, I did a review from... Oh my gosh, I think it was Wizardy. 
um, yes, wizardy. And it was a really beautiful big diamond painting. Let me zoom back out. Rabbit trail here. Um, and they also sent me a couple of really cute little diamond painting cards to do. And I started this one on screen and I finished it. It's a really cute little Halloween card with just a little bit amount of diamond painting to do on it. Is that not cute? Can you see the sparkle? Oh, I thought it turned out adorable. So if you're curious about uh, where to get these or you want to see the, um, the process of starting one, you can, uh, if I think of it, I'll link that video down below too. But yeah, it's just a blank card. You could do some stamping in here or just, you know, write in it. And then they provide the envelopes. But that was that one. And then they also sent me a birthday one. They have some cute birthday diamond paintings. So they sent me the unicorn one. Isn't that adorable? Can you see the bling bling? There we go. I thought it was so cute and it turned out adorable. This one actually has quite a few colors to it. And believe it or not, there are a few AB gems in this. Now for those of you who don't do diamond painting or you're just starting out and don't know what AB gems are, it stands for Aurora Borealis. And what that means is instead of just the plain color, you get an extra like iridescent to it. So these pinks, I don't know if you're going to be able to tell it or not on camera. These are some ABs right here. These, not the darker pink, but these bright ones right below it, right above the white, gray, and black. Those are pink AB gems. And then up in here are some blue AB gems. Or they're the pink and the blue are down in here too. So, yeah, they're just, they're a little bit different and they're real shimmery like the, like the Aurora Borealis and that's why they're called ABs. But yeah, I thought this little guy turned out so cute. And again, you just write in there what you want. I thought this would be so cute for a little girl. I suppose it could be for a little boy too, but typically you would think this would be for a girl. <laughs> so like a daughter, granddaughter niece. So yeah, I just wanted to show them that I did get those finished. I had so much fun doing that. <laughs> okay, let's get back to our picture while we're, while we're here. Zoom you back in and let's do these stars. So yeah, I thought those were really cute and it's just fun to do those nice little bitty kits um, sometimes rather than working on your great big projects now that is the only diamond painting I have done in months I have this huge huge waterfall picture that I am I have been working on for a long long time because I would get it out, put it away to do a different one because it would be a special occasion or, you know, I wanted to do one for my daughter's birthday. Um, did some Christmas ones last year, you know, things like that. And uh, so I think we are going to color these in yellow as a base and then we're going to go over them with something. Like I said, I may get up my, either my fine tech or that, what are they called? Gam, Gamzy Tambi or whatever. I think I have those too. Um, but that great big waterfall is a 70 by 90, which is Jigundo. And so yeah, it's it's so nice to take a break from the great big ones and do something small. Something you can just do in your chair even. 
So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Not sure what this is coming out the sides. What the heck? Unless they're supposed to be like jewels on the side or something. Oh no, I guess I'll leave them. So I think the rest is all going to be done in Sharpie or maybe even some water-based markers. I'm not sure because even when we get into something like this, fine. well, no, I think the ultra fine tip Sharpies should be fine for the rest of this. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here. We're at about 40 minutes, so that's about, I wanted to do it between like 45 and an hour. I didn't think I would get up to this point uh, in 40 minutes, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Although we do have to do these. What colors should we do those in? We could do that yet. Uh, should we do rainbow colors? So we got one, two, three, four, five. We have six. <coughs> oh, sorry. I don't know if I want to do yellow on the bottom and then go up orange, you know, but we have yellow there. But let's do that anyhow. So maybe we'll do a little bit of a darker yellow there. Um, let's do maize. So it'll be a little bit of a different yellow. Okay. Then this does have a border all the way around too. So I'll have to do some thinking on what color. Sorry. Zoom you back in a little. What color I want to do the border. Now that is one thing about these is these markers you cannot uh, fit the cap on the ends of them but I'm used to that anyhow so <laughs> now we have one two three four five six seven eight well that's not very good they're not the same hmm because we've got one two three four five six well what are we gonna do now so if this doesn't really go with that I'm trying to figure out Huh. Oh, I don't like it when they do that. Jeez. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now what to do? Well, I think we're still going to go up with our rainbow colors. And then I'll, up here, I'll just have to do a couple of extra different colors, I guess. Let's just go. I'm just going to go not in rainbow order. Um, I'm just going to throw some different colors in here. Let's go with Pumpkin Orange 23. So then I can just throw whatever colors I want to in it. But we are going to do a, a variety of colors. Because that's just kind of what it looks like it needs. <laughs> All these pictures in this book are so stinking cute. I love them. Let's go with bright red. 121. See how the ink spreads? My gosh. Yeah, 
And it seems like some colors spread more than others. This red is really spreading, bleeding out. <laughs> it's bleeding out. The red's bleeding out. <laughs> All right. Let's go for a pretty pink. I'm just going in the order of my color chart. <laughs> Let's see. What's a pretty pink? Um, let's do, or do I want to do pink? No, let's skip pink. Let's do, uh, green. Let's do pretty green. Let's do jungle green. 53. 53, 53. Like I said, we'll just throw some colors down here. Not in rainbow order, but still kind of rainbowy type of colors. very easy as you can see to color large areas with these markers all right and then we're going to do a blue so what's a pretty blue let's go for cobalt blue 71 So it is kind of in rainbow order, I guess. Not sure what I'm going to do up over here on the other side where I'm going to need some additional colors, but what color should I put up here? People tell me. I'll be able to hear you, I promise. The only problem is Kind of a delayed response, right? Now, if I was doing this live, I could have you tell me. I don't do lives. I don't think I'd be able to do it. I really don't. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. And we're going to do purple, 81. Because I would be so busy looking at the chat because I didn't want to miss anything. I wouldn't get any coloring done. I'd be just sitting here chatting with you guys. Forget about coloring. We're just going to talk. So that wouldn't be very productive, would it? Yeah. I mean, I thought about it. About doing a live and the more I seen other people doing them, I'm like, no, I really couldn't do that. <laughs> uh, I mean, the one thing that's nice about it is you don't have to come, you don't have to think so hard about what you're going to talk about because as you're conversing, per se, <laughs> with your viewers, you know they're they're talking back at you and or with you I should say and so you have things to kind of talk about right but uh, you know so so that is a a good point oh I like how that looks you see that it's pretty but now I don't know what to finish up with up here should I start with another light color like finishing it off maybe with a orange and a red Let's do that. Or should I start over with the yellow? Yellow and orange. Why don't we just start over? We'll we'll do the yellow again. So what did I what yellow did I use now? Maze. That's right. Okay. We'll just start over. Wasn't sure if I wanted more yellow in here or not, but I 
and orange. That was pumpkin orange, right? Huh, is it pumpkin orange? I think so, yes. Okay. And then we will call it a day. All right. Wait for that to dry a little bit. With the alcohol, it of course doesn't take too long to dry. And let's zoom back out and see at a whole what she's looking like. <laughs> see, now that's a sign of a good juicy marker, and that's what you do want to see. If you're not seeing it bleeding through onto your paper behind and onto your uh, paper you're putting as a blotter page, your markers aren't real juicy. Um, which, on the one hand, you know, it's not going to be bleeding out of the lines as much, but you do want a good juicy marker. So that is a good sign of a juicy marker. <laughs> so how is she looking so far? Oh, I do like these colors together. I think that's pretty. Okay, I have no idea. We'll probably go in with um, some more rainbow colors for here because they kind of look like rainbows. <laughs> and uh, we'll do the yellow stars and then we'll maybe get some of the rainbow colors in here too and then we'll do the flowers and yeah i'm going to get some metallic of some sort out um and we're going to do a little bit of metallic blingy bling on here so all right well let's call it good for now um Thank you for watching this video with me and joining. Um, please leave some comments below if uh, um, there's anything that you're wondering about, either with the books, the markers, whatever. Hopefully I will remember to leave those uh, other links to the other videos down below. And uh, yes, I hope everybody's having a terrific day. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. And yeah, I hope everybody's having a great middle of the week. And as always, happy coloring. Bye, guys.